Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your computer to record and edit audio narration. And I'll even show you how to bring in other audio clips, such as music, into the same project using an app called Audacity. Let's dig in. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to audacityteam.org. You'll also find a link in the description below. Here you'll see a download button to go ahead and download and install the software. Once you've got it installed, go ahead and search for it in Windows Search and launch the application. Okay, so this is the Audacity app. The first thing we need to do is customize our audio settings. I'm gonna go over here to the edit menu at the top left, and I'll go down to preferences. Okay, in here under audio settings, I'm going to set the host to MME, which is typically the default. For playback, you're going to want to make sure you've got the correct speakers so you can hear when you play back your audio. And then here is your recording device. So you'll want to make sure that you've got the correct microphone selected for your audio recording. In my case, I use the Yeti stereo microphone. And I like to set it to stereo recording, but you do have the mono option. OK, let's click on OK here. And now we've got that set. Now, in this scenario, I'm going to be using my microphone to record a podcast intro for my School of Rock podcast, where I'll be interviewing Jimmy Page. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to record the intro, and all I need to do is hit my red record button up here at the top. Here we go. Welcome, everyone, to the Brian Sensei School of Rock podcast. In this episode, we are going to be interviewing Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. Okay, I'll go ahead and stop it there. So as you can see visually, we can see the actual audio waves of our recording. And I can come back here to the top and play it back to take a listen. Welcome everyone to the Brian Sensei School of Rock podcast. Awesome. Now, you'll notice that our sound waves are quite small, but I can amplify the recording to improve the audio. So what we can do is we can go ahead and select this audio by clicking over here on the left hand side. You'll see that highlights the entire audio track. Then we're going to go up to effect. In here, we're going to go down to volume and compression and we'll go to amplify. Here we can simply drag the slider to get it to the amplification we would like. Just know that when it's set to zero, this is your original recording level. So I'll go ahead and boost this up to about eight or nine. Here you can preview it. Welcome everyone to the Brian Sense. That sounds good. I'll go ahead and apply that. And look at that. You can visually see that the sound waves are now much larger. Now, notice here that there's a pause at the beginning of the recording. If I want to cut this out, I can simply click and drag to select this section where there was no audio. And then I can right click on it and cut, or I can hit the delete key on my keyboard. And just like that, we've removed that empty sound from the track. Now, another thing I like to do is utilize noise removal. This is actually nice if you do have some kind of noise in the background, maybe an air conditioner was running. To do this, we're gonna select the entire track again by clicking here at the left. And we'll go up here to effect. And this time we'll go down to noise removal and repair. And then we'll go down to noise reduction. Now it says here, select a few seconds of just noise so Audacity knows what to filter out. So we're gonna go ahead and click Get Noise Profile. And what you wanna do is select an area of the track where there was no spoken audio. And that will just pick up the background noise. 
Now we'll go back to Effect, Noise Removal and Repair, Noise Reduction. All right, step two, it says select all of the audio you want filtered. All right, now we're gonna select the entire track again. We'll go back to Effect, Noise Removal and Repair, and Noise Reduction. Now in here, we have some settings. And what you'll wanna know is that these settings are already suggested for you. So you can leave this as is, and then you can preview. Welcome everyone to the Brian Sensei School of Rock podcast. All right, that sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. Notice the visual audio waves are a little bit smaller now, and that's OK. That's because it reduced a lot of noise that it was picking up in the background. Now, let's say that you wanna cut out these spaces that have no audio. You can go ahead and select part of the area, and of course, right click again and cut, or hit delete on your keyboard. All right, now let's take a look at how we can bring in another audio track and include it in our overall recording. So I'm gonna go up here to the file menu and I'm going to go down to import audio. All right, then I'm gonna to go to my music library where I have a track from Led Zeppelin, Song Remains the Same clip. I'll go ahead and open this. All right, and you'll see here now, we've got a second audio track here, which is the song clip. Now, I could have this play in the background while I'm introducing the podcast. However, I would like this to play after the introduction. So the first thing I'm going to do is decrease the view so that I can see more of my workspace. So up here, we have zoom in and zoom out. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out to shrink those down. Now, what I wanna do is move the song clip to the right. So what I'll do is move my cursor up here over the name of the track, and you see the little hand icon pop up. This allows me to click, hold, and drag. Go ahead and drag it to the right, and we'll stop it right about there. This lines up right where my voice ends, and then the music will begin right away. All right, let's see how that sounds from here. Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. Okay, that came in a little too early, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag it a little bit more to the right. Let's see how that sounds. Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. Perfect. Now, here's another cool trick. Maybe at some point, instead of your music clip just suddenly stopping, you can use Fade Out. The way I'll do this is I will select just this part, this ending part of the clip. Now I'll go back to Effect, Fading, and Fade Out. And look how that beautifully fades out the audio. Let's take a listen to this. I'll put the cursor right here, and we'll play it. And then, if I want to now, I can go back in and start a recording for my podcast, add some extra audio, whether it's narration or music clips, and I can have multiple tracks here within Audacity. Now, as you add more tracks to your project, you're gonna have to scroll up and down a lot to see them. So what you can do is you can move your cursor down here to the bottom of the first track, click and hold and drag to make this smaller. And we can do the same to the second track, drag this up, make it smaller. Now we can get a third track in here and be able to see all three. Okay, well for now, I'm happy with this quick little intro I created, and I need to now export it as a single audio file. So I'll go up here to the file menu. I'll go to export audio. All right, here I'm going to name it, and here I can choose the location where it saves, and then here we have the format option. Now, WAVE is a good format on Microsoft computers, However, you can select other audio file types. MP3 is very common. I'll go with the MP3 file type, and we're gonna make sure that's stereo. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and click on Export. 
Now, I exported that as a separate audio file. If I wanna come back to this later and work on it some more and make changes or add to it, I'll need to save this project. So I'm gonna to go to File and I'm going to go to Save Project. Click OK and name your project and choose your destination. Okay, now let's go ahead and open that file and take a listen. Notice here, I've got my project file here, and below that, this is the exported audio file that I can publish when I'm ready to share my podcast. Let's take a listen. Welcome everyone to the Brian Sensei School of Rock podcast. In this episode, we're going to be interviewing Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. And boom shakalaka, what a beautiful sounding intro. If you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.